everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and it's time for a new feature on the channel. This is going to be called the Game of the Month, and this month's game is Pac-Man 256. This is available on uh, Android and iOS. I'm playing it on my Shield TV, uh, which is an Android TV device with my game controller, and uh, this is a Pac-Man Endless Runner. If you've not heard about this game, go and get it. It is one of these free-to-play deals, but not an evil free-to-play deal, and I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Uh, so the objective here is pretty simple, just to go and play Pac-Man, essentially, and you never end. Um, and what you want to do, if you can see underneath me right now, is that I have these uh, little uh, numbers underneath each pack pellet that I eat. And what that's doing is uh, climbing up to 256, hopefully. And if I can eat 256, and I just lost it there, uh, uninterrupted pack pellets, you get a, a bonus uh, in your score. So that's kind of your objective, is to kind of go up there and do that. Now you saw a minute ago I had a laser. I'm going to go grab the bomb right here. Uh, and what will happen is, is I get close to these uh, ghosts here. The bomb blows them all up in, in vicinity to me. Uh, and I can also get some other ones like the laser you saw before. There's a frosty one that kind of slows them down, and there's others also. And you get uh, these power-ups by playing, so you can basically kind of grind out like, a, like an RPG, like a role-playing game, uh, kind of add attributes to your Pac-Man that uh, will give you these power-ups as you're moving forward here, and that was not fair. Um, so you're able to uh, gain more uh, things as you play, and you can upgrade these also with some of the coins that you can pick up on the play field here. So you can see over there there's a coin uh, bouncing around, so as you get these coins you can upgrade your power-ups, and those upgrades will allow you to run those power-ups for more uh, length of time. Now I want to show you what happens though if you start taking too long or start going backwards. Uh, there's a glitch on the bottom here that uh, uh, runs upwards and it will eat you <laughs> as if you get too close. I think the ghost got me that time. But uh, Pac-Man 256 actually refers to a bug that was in the original game. So this uh, uh, was an issue where if you got past level 255 and got up to 256, uh, the, the game would actually glitch out completely. Now, I was never good enough at Pac-Man as a kid to ever get close to that score, uh, but that was something that happened. So that's where Pac-Man 256 comes from, is from that glitch, and they have integrated that uh, in some really clever ways. Now, what's nice about the free-to-play aspect of this game is that you don't really need to pay them any money. You can, of course, if you want to, uh, uh, you know, get more playtime, which is what I did. So $7, you can get unlimited playtime. If you don't pay them, they will give you uh, essentially six credits, which you can use. One credit is one game. Uh, if you play through the six, you have to wait a little bit before more credits appear. Occasionally, they'll give you the option to watch an ad or something, and that will uh, restore those credits a little bit faster. But uh, there's no need to pay for anything. You don't, you can't, I don't even think you can pay to upgrade to those uh, credits for your power up. So it's pretty uh, pretty nice that it's not one of these really evil free to plays that tries to force you into spending money that you don't want to spend. So seven bucks is what I paid. Uh, seven dollars and six cents actually. Some arbitrary number is what they charge me. Uh, but that gives you the ability to uh, play unlimited. Now you can play unlimited without play, uh, paying also, but you don't get to use the power ups, and I don't believe you accumulate. Uh, your score towards those power-ups either when you're in that uh, free play mode. So there is some incentive to, uh, you know, if you want to get the power-ups to do that, but if you just like the challenge of not having any power-ups and kind of play like traditional Pac-Man, you can do that. I have to say, I've been having so much fun with this, I almost prefer this to the original Pac-Man. It's that good. Uh, again, a Pac-Man Endless Runner that I think is a ton of fun, and it is our first game of the month. So if you have a game of the month that you think I should consider playing, uh, please leave it in the comments below. These are the kind of games that I like these days in my, at this stage of my life. I don't have a lot of time to play games because I'm always doing this or, or hanging out with my family or whatever. So uh, let me know. These are the kind of things that I like, you know, things that don't have the restrictive uh, in-app purchase stuff. Uh, and are really fun to pick up and play. Future Game of the Month episodes might include uh, some retro games that I used to play, play as a kid, and I might, might do a live stream or something too, which will uh, you know, go through some of the uh, Atari and ColecoVision games that I liked as a kid. So that is on my list of things to do. So definitely uh, keep in touch. Let me know if you like this segment, and this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.